And welcome back to the channel. I'm Brand Fowler, and I'm ready to talk to you about only good comics. This time we're talking about Superman, Lois and Clark, issue one by Dan Jurgens, Lee Weeks, Scott Hanna, and Brad Anderson. If you're not familiar with this book or the entire DC universe uh, and the New 52 and, and all that that happened, uh, this is the Lois and Clark from pre-New 52. And during the New 52, that whole thing, they were uh, on a place called Telos and their, their entire city, I think it was all a metropolis, was encased uh, and kind of shut off from the rest of their world. And we learned this in, in uh, Convergence and there was a mini series um, and it involved them and we learned that they uh, had a son, John Kent, and they learned during that story that their entire world was destroyed and the multiverse, they helped reset it. And so this story picks up where they've decided to come to the New 52 world. And they are transplanted there and, and they witness the formation of the Justice League, that version of the Justice League. And in this story, when they first get there, uh, Superman's, he's kind of staying in the shadows he sees this other team interact and he, he almost steps in uh, to help them with the battle against uh, dark side but cyborg saves the day and that whole justice league uh you know again forms and and starts you know saving the world and all this stuff and he just kind of watches from the side helps where he can but he stays off the radar uh they have um i forget where where they are but they're um living on a farm they've taken the name white uh after perry white and they're just kind of doing their own thing lois lane she's writing these books uh kind of exposing different things fighting justice by the end of this issue she's uh come out with her brand new book which is going to be all about inner gang and superman's just kind of keeping an eye on things he's uh he talks about how he's located people that became villains of his over time and kind of tried to, to steer them on a different path or thwart them before they really got started. And by the end of this issue, he's come into contact with Hank Kenshaw, who is just now coming back from space before he's turned into Cyborg Superman. And so that whole thing. And also we, we meet John who is now, he starts off at the end of, at the beginning of this issue as a baby and, and we get a little time jump and now he's, he's a kid as we came to know him before he was aged up and you know he's he hasn't gotten his powers yet and he, he he's very inquisitive and he's very bright and he understands that things are going on that, that he's not privy to and uh, you can see him kind of trying to work it out and he, he pretty much assumes that he knows his his dad's up to something he knows his dad maybe uh, has superpowers even he, he doesn't know all the details or why his dad looks like this other guy or whatever but uh you can see the wheels turning in john's head and he's kind of obsessing about it a little bit because he knows something is up and meanwhile like lois is being watched from the shadows and so that's going to blow up in her face with all this uh this stuff that she's been exposing somebody's been trying to uh i, I guess figure out who's been writing about all this stuff uh, that's kind of the impression you get from uh well, from the figure watching uh, from afar as she's handing off a flash drive to her editor and, and things like that. And then we see a mysterious character coming at the end that leaves us on a cliffhanger that some uh, major weapon has been stolen and now they are uh, looking for that so that they can cause havoc as well. So, and it's also, you know, why Superman, not in this issue, but he decides to wear the black suit uh, to again further his uh, exploits in the shadows and not get uh, recognized and especially with uh, this world Superman uh, out to the public and everybody knows he's Clark Kent and, and if they had taken on that name uh, that's all covered in this but this was a really good uh, first issue that reintroduced you to the characters it recapped just on one page uh, what happened during Convergence with them why they're there uh, why they're staying hidden and what they're up to and you get the uh the relationship between clark and, and uh, lois 
done really well here. You get John as a kid saying, yuck, don't be so lovey-dovey and all that. You get him in school and learn that he's like not focused and he's all distracted about this other stuff, but he's still bright and he figures out like this math problem uh, as he's getting hauled off to the to the principal's office and, and all that stuff. So it's a really fun reintroduction to these characters, which at the time we had not really seen them for five years since the new 52 took place. So, and, and I think overall, this was a really fun series. It had some ups and downs as any series does that goes on for any length of time. But uh, I thought this was a really good series and it was uh, the, that family dynamic and fam family aspect of aspect of Superman that we had been missing throughout the entire New 52. So this was kind of a, I don't know, a breath of fresh air. I said that last week in last week's video too uh, about that book, but yeah, it was just kind of a, a cleanser and it was kind of a, uh, like a warm blanket. It was, it's like that comfort that you were missing and you kind of got that in this family dynamic. And at that time, John was, um, just a really fun cool kid before all the super sun stuff happened and he got aged up and uh, it kind of changed the dynamic of john I'm not saying that that stuff isn't uh good or has its place i'm just saying this was uh the beginning of that story and so you didn't really know john that well you just knew hey this is superman's kid hey he's you know got a good head on his shoulders he's also lois's kid so he's got those investigative skills He's figuring things out. Uh, I thought it was a really uh, good way to present John having the best of both worlds of Superman and, and Lois in this book. So if you have never checked this series out and you are a Superman fan or you're a Lois and Clark fan, I think you owe it to yourself to go hunt this down, check it out, especially because in Action Comics right now uh, with the uh, kind of the uh, relaunch, the new direction for, for the book, there's a backup story by Dan Jurgens featuring this family at this period in time. Uh, so, it, and it kind of follows off what they did in the uh, Death of Superman anniversary where they had that little short story in there too. And so it continues from there. So if you uh, enjoy that story in Action Comics, you're definitely gonna love this book. So check it out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any content on this channel. And of course, you can follow me across social media at Only Good Comics and join me next time as we talk about Only Good Comics. Until then, take care. Bye.